Hi, I'm Nate Eitzman, CCA Agronomist with Osmus Farm Supply at the Rake location. Welcome to this week's Agronomy Update. Today we're going to be talking about fungicide applications in corn and soybeans. We're entering the part of the growing season where fungicide applications have traditionally been applied to our growing corn and soybeans. As we continue to monitor the progress of our um, crop, there's a lot of things we want to keep in mind when it comes to fungicide applications. When considering a fungicide application, we have to evaluate everything going on in the environment around our crop. <clears throat> As the disease triangle is the ultimate predictor of fungal infection in our crops, we need to constantly evaluate the potential pathogens, the environment, and of course the host crop, which we know is present. Let's examine each side of the triangle a little closer. First off, the easiest to determine is the host. In most cases, it's either corn or soybeans in our geography. The second thing to consider is the pathogens present in your area. Depending on crop and rotation, this could be a number of things to consider. Uh, know the history of your farm, the area surrounding you, and, and things a little bit further away or more advanced in the growing season to see what's going on and, and what things to uh, continue to evaluate and monitor in your field. And thirdly is environment. When you know the pathogens that uh, could be likely or putting your crop at risk, know the environment that is favorable for the development, or excuse me, the infection and development of these pathogens. If you have determined that all three sides of the disease triangle are present or likely in your field, a fungicide application may be needed. Continue to scout and monitor the field to determine if and when this application should take place. When it comes to application, there are a variety of products to consider for your field. The fungicide market has evolved significantly the last several years, with maybe the biggest advancement being the length of residual available in these products. There are a number of new products such as Miravis Neo from Syngenta, Veltima and Revitech from BASF, Lucento from FMC and others. All of these products have multiple modes of action and will give you 30 days or more of residual time from, from application. This is significant for a lot of reasons. Um, in certain cases, such as tar spot and corn, we may have to apply earlier than we're normally used to, so a product with longer residual is going to push us further out into grain fill than, than some of our traditional fungicides would have. When you have determined which product is going to be the best fit for your field, the next thing to consider is timing. When we look at beans, for example, and white mold is the concern, the application should be taking place around now at the R1 growth stage in soybeans. If white mold is not a concern, maybe the application will be later on in the season at, at R3 or R4, depending on the, the pathogen that you're targeting. And the same thing goes for corn. As we talked about a little bit earlier, tar spot could possibly lead to an earlier application um, things such as northern corn leaf blight or gray leaf spot can, can infect at various times. So scouting will continue to be very important when it comes to timing of the fungicide application on your field. If an early fungicide application is made to your crop, continue to monitor the environment and your field specifically to determine if a subsequent application is needed. This is possible if we have, once again, the right pathogen and the right environment for the host to be infected. As we are maybe more aware of on the herbicide front and resistance, fungicide resistance is also a concern. So regardless of the number of applications you make to your field, consider using products with multiple modes of action and good residual length. If you have any questions about fungicide application for your specific area, please talk to your local AFS agronomist. Thank you.